Hey, welcome to Grill and Smoke Barbecue. I'm Jeffrey. So as you can see, got a new toy for my channel. Uh, today we're gonna do a burn-in. I mean, I'm, you've already seen it be set up by probably a lot of people by now, so I'm not gonna take you through that. But the reason I'm gonna do the burn-in is because I do mine a little different from how other people do theirs. So I think mine is better. I've never had it rust on me with some of the other ones that I've done. I found that it kind of works. So I'm going to share that with you and we're just going to see what it do. Char griller, baby. Let's go. All right, so let's go on and get this thing ready. Gonna get the doors open. Also get the fan open. Now what we have here is some regular Kingsford. Since we're just doing the burn in, we're not too concerned about filling it all the way. open I'm gonna use some of these uh fire starters that I found at HEB give them a try just to see what they're if they're actually good it says uh, you can just take it leave it in the pack and just light the pack and it should burn all the way through so what I'm gonna do is take this stick it in here All right, they got the pan right there. I'm not gonna use any wood for this burn in. I'm just gonna burn with coal. All right, what I am gonna do, is I'm gonna spray the inside of this with some canola oil. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get the fire lit. I will say it did light quite easy. We'll get at about three to five minutes. Oh, got to make sure you take this out as well. Almost forgot. Has a little latch back here if you leave that on. Let's go ahead and power this on. Now, as I said, I'm going to do this a little different. So for the first 15 minutes, I'm gonna do this at 300 degrees. For the next 15 minutes, I'm gonna do it at 350. For the next 15 minutes, I'm gonna do it at 400. And for the next 15 minutes, I'm gonna do it for 450, which is gonna be a total of an hour. And I've never had anything rust on me curing the paint that way. So we'll see if it keeps true with this one. Okay, that's been going for about four minutes now. Gonna go ahead and get this shut down. A 
leave that one open. We're going to set our temp to 300. Close this and let it go for 15 minutes. So while this fit first 15 minutes is occurring, I'm just going to take this time to let y'all know that um, 4th of July is coming. Me and Jeff over at Outdoors with Jeff are doing a collaboration for a 4th of July cook. Um, not going to be nothing too hard. Just going to be like some basic what you would find 4th of July backyard grilling. Uh, so look out for that. That should be dropping on um, Friday. Give you time to look at it, get an idea for uh, 4th of July, which is on Sunday. So back to this burn in. Okay, so we've been 15 minutes. We hit 300. I'm sorry, been on 300 for 15 minutes. And I did not start the 15 minutes until it got to 300. So what I'm going to do now from the app, I'm going to show you, I'm going to change the temp to 350. As you see, changed on there. It's going to go to 350. And I'm going to go ahead and start a new timer for another 15 minutes. And confirm that. Hopefully y'all could see that. I don't know if it was blurry or not. But the time, 15 minutes, temp 350. Another 15 minutes. Okay, so it's been another 15 minutes. We're at 350. Now we're going to turn it up to 400. And we're going to set another timer for 15 minutes. And we'll be back in 15 more minutes. All right, so here we go. We're going to do our last 15 minute segment. We're going to take this from 400 to 450. The one thing I did notice before when I did the timer, I accidentally set it for 15 hours instead of 15 minutes. But I did catch it four minutes in and adjusted it. So we're going to go ahead and change this to 450. And we're going to do the timer this time for 15 minutes which before I had the 15 here now I have it over here and you can hear the fan kick on I believe you should be able to hear it and also what I've noticed a lot people start their uh, the char griller gravity and there's a lot of smoke that comes out at first but as you can see and I'll show later as it settles in it gets like everything gets settled in from the heat the smoke doesn't appear as bad anymore so i think everything just needs to settle down and fit together and then it's a pretty good feel but we'll be back after this 15 minutes all right so we're finished with the burn in now so what we're going to do now we're just going to go ahead we're going to shut it down let it cool off so the first part of that, we're gonna go ahead and turn the power off by just holding the button. And that's that. We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna close this back vent. It's a little warm. I suggest if you don't have hands that can take it, wear some gloves. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and unplug it. And just to make sure that everything goes out, we're going to close this vent for the fan. And go ahead and put this blade back in. And that should basically do it. It should be ready to cool down and we completed the burn in 
Next one's gonna be the cook. Don't forget about the collaboration I got going on with Outdoors with Jeff that'll be dropping Friday for the uh, 4th of July. I will tell you what I'm making, but yeah, I'm gonna make you wait. <laughs> but uh, let me end by saying this. All right, I wanna thank you for coming along with me today. Um, burn is complete. As I said before, don't forget, I got a collaboration dropping with Outdoors with Jeff on Friday for a holiday cook for the 4th of July. Might give you some ideas for things you might wanna do. Uh, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Ring that bell so you can get notified when new product, when the new videos drop. Also, you can follow to see how well did this burn in do and keeping this paint looking nice over time. So only one way to really keep up, you know, kind of kind of follow me, right? Right. But um, till next time, I want to say thank you for joining me. And I'm out.